everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, can we get a quick audio check and make sure everyone can hear us okay? Um, and if so, hello and welcome to our very first episode, or episode, I guess, stream for the Indie Creator Spotlight that we're doing this weekend. Um, if you are new here, hello, we are Resonim. We are a small indie board game publishing company, and this is the Indie Creator Spotlight. So this was kind of my brainchild to fill... Oh, let me turn off um, Discord notifications so you don't hear that. That's no good. Um, yeah, so this is kind of my brainchild to fill the hole in my heart from having a real person in in person Gen Con. Obviously, Gen Con online was the right decision for right now. Um, but one of my favorite things about Gen Con is being able to go to the booths of our friends and publisher and creator friends and seeing what they're working on and demoing their games and hanging out afterwards and playing games in a bar and like all that kind of stuff you don't get with Gen Con online. So this um, event was kind of my idea to kind of get that back a little bit. So we're going to be streaming today until like seven o'clock and then Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to be hosting a bunch of indie creator friends of ours so that they can show off their stuff. We can do interviews with them. We can just play games, all that good Gen Con stuff that we're not really getting this year. Um, so my name is Rachel. Again, I'm the community manager. Above me is Max Seidman, who's the lead game designer at Resonim. And our very first guests um, are the folks from Lay Waste. So this is um, Alyssa Marshall and um, Jake Given from Lay Waste Games. They are Obviously one of the coolest um, indie devs in New England who we got the pleasure of meeting at Boston Festival of Indie Games a few years ago and we've been able to keep up with them over the various conventions at PAX and Gen Con and Essen and all that good stuff. They published a bunch of games that you're likely to have heard of such as Dragoon, Human Era, Metal, and the game we're going to be playing today, Life Siphon. So Alyssa and Jake, if you'd like to introduce yourselves, tell us what you do for Lay Waste and all that, all that jazz. Well, thank um, you okay. guys for doing Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Go ahead, Jake. You go. <laughs> uh, so I'm Jake. Uh, I'm one of the uh, one of the owners of Lay Waste Games. Um, I do mostly game development and a lot of other stuff, making sure that the company runs well or at all. <laughs> uh, but mostly, I uh, the 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 thing that I started out doing was uh, was game design. Awesome. Um, Mostly, most of that is with my brother Zach, who unfortunately had to miss the, uh, the stream today. We'll miss him. But we're happy you're here. But, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm psyched to be here. Uh, miss, missing Gen Con is a kind of a bummer, but this yeah. is the next best thing. We hope so. We're hoping to hoping to maybe start something if we have to do a lot of online conventions in the in the coming months. That maybe this can be a tradition that we do in in its stead. Um, to just kind of catch up with our friends and see how everyone's doing. Um, Alyssa, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us what you do for Lay Waste? Yeah, so um, I'm also one of the co-owners, and I am the community and operations manager for Lay Waste. Um, so yeah, I'm just here to keep everything on track, hopefully. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long, though, <laughs> so okay. I think I'm going to end up like playing with old rules or something, and I'm just going to apologize in advance for confusing people. <laughs> What's our what's the current status of this game? Uh, so we just it's wrapped up, yeah, we just wrapped up the Kickstarter fulfillment, um, and now we're working on getting it into retail. Um, so yeah, we're it's it's done. That's <laughs> we're, awesome. We're wiping Fantastic. our hands so clean of it. it Nowish. Uh, we're working on getting it into distribution. So hopefully within the next couple of months. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, all right, so if there's anything else that you guys want to say up top, you can do that now. Otherwise, we can hop into the demo and tell us a little bit about this game and how we get started playing it. Totally. Um, I think not on my end. <laughs> oh my god, Jake, you are going to have to yell into your microphone. Mm. <laughs> I think we have him boosted a little bit on our end, so he's a little softer for you than he is for the for folks in the stream. Okay. I'm a little quiet. All right. I'll be bumped up. Yeah. Thank you all for bearing with us for this, this audio check. Um, we're going to be streaming with a bunch of people with a bunch of different audio setups. So this is going to be a staple of the start of every segment. Um, let me know if I'm better. Um, I've turned down Alyssa and I've turned up Jake a little bit. So hopefully that's better. Um, all right. Just keep me, keep me right, posted on I'm... audio stuff as we go, but we can jump in. My one-year-old hanging around the house somewhere. So try not, not to be too, too loud, but, uh, <laughs> Um, so actually, do, Alyssa, do you want to, do you want to kick it off with the, the demo or do you want me to do it? No, you go ahead. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
So uh, Life Siphon is, is uh, at its core, it's kind of a, a strategy combat game. And like really most of our games, what, what, what we're trying to do is, uh, is create an uh, experience that is easily accessible for most gamers mm -hmm. that allows you to dig in a little bit deeper. Uh, and so, like the bar of entry is not, doesn't seem very high, but once you're in, you start to see a lot of, a lot of the depth and decisions that you can make uh, that can really make for some interest. And so with Life Siphon, what we wanted to do was create this sort of combat strategy game where you can choose different familiars to do battle with your opponents I um, love that it focuses on familiars. That makes me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's also, it's also a, a spiritual successor to, well, not really spiritual successor to mm -hmm. Dragoon uh, story-wise because humans have been forced underground by the dragons on the surface. Mm -hmm. In their delvings in the underground, uh, trying to find some way to, uh, you know, maybe re re regain the surface they come across this mysterious glowing orby box thing that says, do not open, and you open it. Naturally. And you're cursed. Like it <laughs> and, goes, yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, and you're cursed with this terrible power to summon demons and familiars mm. at the cost of your own life force. Uh, and the only way to escape is to take out your closest friend, who in the game is the player sitting to your left. Oh, interesting. You're always attacking the player to your left and being uh, defending against the player to your right. Okay. And the game ends when the first player is eliminated. And the only winner is the one who took out their opponent. Oh, interesting. That's so cool. Okay. What it means is you may have to help the person who's trying to take you out. Okay. Just so they survive. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have an opportunity to take out your opponent. Gotcha. That's so. That's so interesting. Wow, I'm already. I'm already super into this. That's such a unique. I was, concept. I was just looking at how we're sitting, sitting, and for once, I won't have to be directly competing with Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be. So, who's to my left? Who's to my left? Um, your screen name. So that's you, Jake. All right, that's a challenge. All right, I'm into it. Let's go. <laughs> You're taking me out. <laughs> uh, and so, everything that we do. For the most part costs life and that's really our only reason so we all start out at 20 health okay uh but if you look at the uh the little sheet here your little booklet oh this is is this the reminder of, card kind of thing oh that's exactly so, that's this is so cool is this an actual when you get the actual physical game is that what it looks like is it cut out like a little book like that oh that's yeah. so cool i love that Super into it. Uh, and so for this game, we're, what we're going to do is just the the base familiars. Okay. So if you when you purchase the game now, it comes with a whole lot more. Um, so we have the three base familiars with the Lich, the Dread Knight. But throughout the Kickstarter, we unlocked a whole bunch of stretch goals and new content. So there are more familiars that you can play with, more, oh, awesome. uh, more stuff you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, we always recommend on your first time. Uh, for new players, just go with the base three so yeah. you can get really familiar with it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, and so when you, on your turn, what you'll do is, uh, is summon up to three familiars and they each have a cost associated okay. with summoning. So for instance, summoning a lich costs four of your own life. Okay. And they each have an attack and a defense value. We'll get into the combat uh, as we as we get into it. The first few rounds are kind of set up uh, for, for you're making your first purchase, seeing what other players are buying, and reacting uh, accordingly to what they're doing. Gotcha. So you got a few turns before you even get, start engaging in combat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and each familiar also has a special ability thing. So uh, an imp only costs three health to summon. They have an attack and defense of two, but when they are removed from the board, when they're killed, they will return one life to you. Okay. So they're little minions that, uh, that help regenerate some of your health. Uh, the liches, they're also a, a two attack, two defense, and they cost four health to summon. Okay. They're kind of expensive, 
their special thing is that they can target their attacks. Okay. And so again, we'll get into the, the specifics of it yeah. in a bit, but it's, it's similar mechanics uh, to Magic the Gathering. So you gotcha. announce an attacker, the, your opponent decides how they want to block. Gotcha. Okay. But a Lich can target a specific familiar or skip them entirely and deal damage directly to the opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way to block uh, a from a lich is if you have a lich yourself. Okay. Put your in front of that attack uh, and take that damage. Gotcha. And the dread knight only costs two health to summon. Mm -hmm. They have a pack of five and a three. Big beefy tanks. Love it. But every time you move them, it costs. Gotcha. One All life every time. One life. Okay. Everybody else, they can move one space each turn at no cost, okay. but moving a Dreadnought getting pretty. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> this is, I'm already, I'm already fascinated. I'm really, this is really, really interesting. Um, wow. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. All Max, right. have you and played this I'll before? I don't remember. Have you said you've demoed I, this or? I do. I did get a chance to demo this at PAX East, uh, probably last year, last year. Cool. Well, I'm brand new to it. So <laughs> walk me through it with baby steps. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so we'll also have cards in our hand. And the cards are either going to be a fast cast or a slow cast. Okay. And if you're looking at any of the cards, the uh, the, the lighter cards are fast cast. Mm -hmm. Those are cards you can play on anybody's turn at any time. Okay. Woo. And slow cast card can only play be played on your own turn in what's called your main phase. Okay. So each uh, on your turn, there are three phases to your turn. There is the regenerate phase where uh, you always regenerate one life at the beginning of your turn mm -hmm. and one additional life for every familiar that is in the river on the board. We've got the water kind of circling around. Uh, so there's three, four rows of, of movement space. The third one is the river. Uh, for every familiar in the battleground there, you'll regenerate one additional life. So you can okay. kind of keep some familiars back there to help replenish your life. And after the regenerate phase, you go into the attack phase, which means you have to uh, you have to have familiars in the battleground. The battleground is that final space in the middle. Ooh, cool. It's to the 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 ominous. Sorry, say that again. You cut out the ominous oh, next what? To the ominous eye. Oh, yes, the classic, the, the emblematic eye. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Uh, and after the attack phase is done, you enter your main phase. This is where you summon familiars, move them down the battleground, and you slow cast card. Okay. And then you end your turn by drawing a card from the. All right. That's kind of the basics of it for okay. now. We'll, we'll, we'll get into this more specifics as we go. Awesome. I'm just but reading over the turn I... order again. You can choose to tax someone. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Um, how do we want to start? Why don't I start off uh, in that way? Because Max is familiar. Alyssa is familiar. Uh, you'll, you can see. Perfect. It also give, it puts you in the position of, uh, of, see, of having the most information. Mm, I love uh, it. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So it is my turn. Uh, so it's my regenerate phase. Mm -hmm. I gain one life, but I'm already at 20, so I can't get any. Right. Now, during this phase, because I don't have any familiars in the river, mm -hmm. I may choose to draw one of these face up cards to the deck. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we what we have over here. Slink. So we've got Dark Pact, we've got Spirit Vial, and we've got Consume. All right. It will take. And then after we draw one of those cards, we can replenish. There's always 
Ooh, so now we have feed. Ugh, I love. We're gonna. I hope. I will get to talking about the art um in the little interview at the end. But I'm already like this game is so. It has such a presence on the table. That's just so. I love it so much. The art and oh, the. Thank you. Ugh, makes me so happy. I will tell Nick the artist. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Keep him in the dark of how much we love his work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, now I enter my attack phase, which I can't do anything in because I don't have any familiars in the battleground. Okay. So I'm going to go straight to my main phase, start summoning. So right now you can summon up to three of any, of of your choice, and then will you also get to move them? Correct, yes. Awesome. Seems like things are going to move pretty quickly. To him. Two. Forgive me. Be <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> you should just be able to just grab and drag from that stack. You don't necessarily need to use the numbers. All right, liches. That's a lot of liches. All right, so two liches and an imp. All right. Or eleven health. Whew. I. Oof. Rachel, you got to kill him. I'm going to try. <laughs> I will certainly try my best. All right. And they will all move up one space. And when you when they move, it's one whole row up. Ah, so like okay. I see. So if I were to move... Um, so you're moving from this, um, this these orange circles back here. Um, could you have moved... They don't have to necessarily go up. Could they go up and over, like anywhere on the row above them? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, cool. Cool. Just, that just uh, indicates how many uh, how many familiars can occupy that that whole room. Okay. Gotcha. And that will end my turns. A card. Oh wow! Lots of cards in here. Cool. That is my turn. All right. So. Uh, so I start by regenerating, which I can't do. Uh, then I can choose to draw. Is that right? Correct. All right. So I'm going to take consume. That seems good to me. And replace it. And then uh, I can't attack. So now I can make some familiars. I'm thinking just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make one of each. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'll, I'll deal. Um, I feel like I ought to have some liches to protect me from your liches. <laughs> um, and that's Ooh, gonna cost you me brought total, out Beef uh, Boy. Oh god, I'm so glad. I love this game already because I don't even have to interact with Max necessarily. I love that he's on the other <laughs> side. I don't have to talk to him. I don't look at him. It's great. I love it. I don't have to like get attacked and feel bad about myself because I always lose. It's great. <laughs> he, in fact, he is the closest thing to an ally you have. Oh, wonderful! I love that. I already like the, the player interaction dynamic a lot already. So I'll move those guys up. Um, and when I move to the Dread Knight, I take one more damage. So now I'm at 10. Um, and finally, I could play a slow card here, right? Correct. I'm not going to. I think I'll be okay. Um, so then I just draw a card. And I'm done. What I got. Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to take Dark Pact. Bleed, and I'm going to get one of everything. Oh, I got to start looking at these cards. All right. Okay. And I will also be moving them all forward one row. And that puts me at 10. Will not be playing a card, so I will draw my card. Is that in my deck? Oh, you, yep, there you go. Get in my deck. You're going to drag <laughs> this back over here. 
Oh, did I take the whole day? <laughs> yeah, you did. It's fine. Trust me. I I am also very new to Tabletop Simulator and navigating it all, so you are totally fine. <laughs> King um, me. I can't see this, but I don't want to hit F because I don't want to flip it. Um, once it's F, in your hand... Yeah. We won't be able to see it. It, it will? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. Um, not that I would even know how to cheat yet, but you should be all set. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna start by drawing a card, and I want I want the shadow strength. So that sounds that sounds fun. Um, so that lets me increase the attack of one familiar by one until the end of turn. Um, so and then who do I want to bring out? So I get to bring out three, three any three familiars. That's correct. Up to three. Yeah. Up to three. Okay. We'll bring out we'll bring out an imp. Um Wait, how'd you guys rotate yours? I want mine to face me. I don't know how Caddy wants this. Bring out some a lich. <laughs> and then ooh, do I want beef boy? I don't know. I don't know that I want beef boy. That feels like a lot of a lot of work. When your imps are removed before <laughs> you gain one life, when attacking your opponent decides if they will block or not. Yeah, we'll bring out another imp. Sure. We'll be different. We'll be we'll be out here with two imps. Let me just grab one. There we go. Um, all right, and then I'm going to move them all up a row. We'll put my lich over here, and then my two imps here. Um, and then do you get to draw another card at the end of your turn, or? Correct. All right. Let's see what we have. So we dark pack to still out there. And we've got two feeds. Oh, so this at the when you draw. You'll just end, draw from the. Top oh, just from of the, the deck. deck. Ah, okay, cool, cool. We got a, a bit of known versus unknown in I like it. I like it. All right, chat, let's see what we got. Ooh, all right. My turn. I gain one life back. Have any familiars in the rivers? I'll take. Go to the main. Oh, I was supposed to get rid of my life last turn, right? Or oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to pay for those. Yeah. So I have to pay. Sorry, I just realized that. So I have to pay um, six, ten life. Um, and then, is there any other thing I have to pay life for? Moving them. These. I don't have. The... No, only when you move the Dread Knight. Everything okay. else is free to move. Cool. All right. Now we're all set. Get a Dread Knight. Life. I'm going to play a card from... We haven't talked about the aspects. Yet. All right. So we've got this deck over here of five aspect. Okay. And each of these will give you different different passive or active abilities, or kind of augment uh, how you're how you're playing. Okay. <clears throat> and when I play equip aspect, everybody's going to get one. Okay. I'll first choose a player to gain a life. Okay. I'll choose myself. Classic. That's not very generous to me. <laughs> um, and so if I if I get, understand this right, is oh yeah, that's one way to do it. We can search through and pull one out. It's it, you get a choice, and then we go clockwise, and everyone gets a choice. Is that right? Exactly. So I I pick first, then Max, Alyssa. So how do I look at them and choose Max? Well, so we're going clockwise, so Jake gets it first. Okay. So when we do get there, I think we're gonna, we'll use the right-click and search menu. You can also just potentially just draw them all to your hand and put them back after. Okay. All right. So you oh, got one. Very big. So now it's <laughs> me, right? Um, 
Are they supposed to? Are they supposed to fit on that on that thing there? Yeah. Hold on, I can shrink it down. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You are a wizard. Nice. The magic of uh, of tabletop simulator. So, uh, <laughs> so if you, so now you close the search menu and I search. Is that right? Yep. Cool. Ah. Now the aspect that I chose is the dread knight. What this lets me do is once per turn. Instead of moving, uh, instead of paying one life to move a Dread Knight, hmm. either choose, uh, have my opponent, which is the player on my left, okay. gain one life, or I can discard a card. So instead of paying one life, I can give my opponent one life or get rid of a card. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Cool. Oh, interesting. I'm going to take the aspect of the river. Um, which uh, it gives me extra life. All right. It, I think it immediately gives me one. Yeah, so it immediately gives me one. So I'll go up to 11. And then I will get extra on my turn. Cool. OK, how do I do the search thing? Yep, so right-click look... right -click and there should be a little search menu. And then it'll pop up a little window for you to look through all the cards. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you're going to get to attack me before. Oh, you're going to get to attack me. <clears throat> I will have defenders by the time you attack me, right? Yeah. Probably, assuming I keep moving my guys up. OK. Because I, I have to have familiars in the battleground at the start of my OK, cool. Gotcha. So, so I've next, got, turn, I... next turn, I'll move them in, and you'll, you won't have anybody to defend, but I can attack. So what you're saying is it's completely safe for me to spend all, basically all my life this turn summoning more more from the dirt. Please nearest. spend all of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, but Max, I'm going to do you a favor because I'm going to give you one life to move my Dread Knight. Give me one life? Yep. Uh, so that's my that's my aspect ability. Uh... So instead of me paying, instead of me spending one life gotcha. to move a Dread Knight, uh, I can make you game. Nice. All right. Alyssa, do you want to explain the um, aspect that you took? Yes. So I got aspect of the imp, which uh, once per turn during my main phase, I can summon an imp for the cost of two instead of three. Cool. All right. Let's see if I can. So we do search. Ah, oh, there's only two left. This aspect you may discard a card if you... Might be like Rachel should should try to find and play another equip aspects, right? Because if we do that, it, they get re-equipped. Is that true? Oh, yeah. interesting. I was wondering about that. When you draw a card at the end of your turn, you may discard that card. If you do, draw a new... Hmm. Do like that. Greedy. All right, sure. Well, hmm. Um, discard a card if you do draw a card you may make all players discard one their choice starting with the player to your left sure well you know we're gonna take greed we're gonna be simple we're gonna take greed because I feel like it um, how do I make it smaller max slink <laughs> uh, well, I will do that for you thank you cool How's cool that? perfect all right. And so we've all got our aspects. I've finished up moving all of my up. And are we going to encounter a hand limit at some point? There is no hand. Awesome. All right. So at the start of my turn, I regenerate one life. And I also regenerate an additional life, according to my aspect, if I have one or fewer familiars in the river. Um, so I'm going nice. to go ahead and Damn. move two. Woo. Not quite dead. Um, I get to get a card now, right? So I will take uh, one of these feeds, because that's those are my options. Ooh, dark axe, that sounds good. Um, and then, um, no attacking. So I'll summon some familiars. Let's get a Dread Knight. Another Dread Knight. Oh, Jesus. And an Imp. 
I don't that like cost me that. Seven. Seven. Uh, thing you will like a little bit more though is I gotta I'm gonna move these guys up, and that means that I need to pay one life for moving that one up and Jeez. an additional two life for moving these ones up. So that's expensive. Um, one, How much two, life left? three. I have four. Oof. Okay. Oof. Oof indeed. Um, I think. All right, I think I should probably play it safe. And I'm going to play consume and consume this imp in the background. Uh, which is gonna get me, so I remove one of my familiars and I give uh, four life to any player or players distributed that I choose. Uh, I'm gonna give it all to me and I'm gonna actually get five because the imp gives me one when he dies. Cool. Wait, an imp, you had turn. an imp die? I... I I consumed one of my imps. I ah, that's why Spring is yeah. saying Om Nom in chat. Okay, it um, makes nom, sense nom. now. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, and then I still get a card, right? When do I stop getting cards? Never. Uh, I stop getting these think... cards when I have things in the battleground. Gotcha. Right, so you all, you'll always get a card at the end of the turn. Nice. Oof. That's a card. All right, I'm all set. I'm excited mm. to start hitting people. All right, I'm going to take card okay. I'm gonna Ooh. get I'm gonna get two imps which will cost me five instead of six because of my aspect and one hmm. I think I'm only gonna get those two so I uh, my life down to five and I'm gonna move oh and I get one life for re regeneration for the beginning of my turn all right and move everyone forward I'll go back down to five because I move the dread knight We're playing risky, it seems. Yeah, I'm all, this, I was just gonna say it's making me anxious how little life everyone has, and I don't know if that's if that's normally how the first couple of rounds go, or very often. It, it's, okay. Yeah, very often because the first couple of rounds you're you're particularly only summoning your familiars. Mm -hmm. um, you're not really uh, able to play cards and gain life back very much. Um, yeah. But later on in the game, you'll definitely be able to you'll get up there a bit more. Um, and. I think that's it for me, so I'm just gonna draw my card. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking equip I aspect. How do I do this? I don't want the whole deck. Just mess over and press one. Okay. Um, and so can I play equipped aspect on my turn, on the same turn that I drew it? <laughs> Max, help! <laughs> <laughs> just just one not work if you press one and then in your uh, not your num keys but your uh, the numbers on top of your keyboard. No, it's like rotating it. You know, weird. Uh, weird. Weird. Okay. Uh, then if you uh, click and drag and really quickly, so you don't. Yeah. If you wait, you'll get the whole deck. But if you now you just got one. Um, Thank you. All right. So I regenerate one life. So I'm back up to eleven. Um, and I'm gonna play equipped aspect because my aspect is not my favorite. Um, and so that re redistributes them, is that correct? Yes. So everybody's going to turn in their aspect. Bye bye. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have to make sure that we uh, get these guys to have to like rescale them. them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to make uh, it difficult. <laughs> no, this is, this is my fault. Uh, let's see. No, that's about right. All right, so just leave them, put we them can down. Just and put them on the, on the ground. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Um, so I get to pick first, correct? That's right. Yes. Uh, and you choose a player who gain one life. Oh, you me? I love me, though. I think I'm better, Rachel, so... I'm gonna die otherwise, and then you don't win. Uh, you're gonna- you're gonna be fine, Max. You're gonna be fine. Um, let's Here. take a look. Oh. So, Aspect Here. of the River... Whoa. There you go. I can use search. Okay. Okay. Wait, is this one small? No, that was my card. Um, aspect of the river seemed cool. 
When you equip this aspect, choose any player to gain one life, regenerate one additional life at the start of your turn if you have one or fewer familiars in your river. I like that one. I also like the, um, the imp one seemed cool. You can summon an imp for two less life. Two life instead of three once per turn during your main phase. I like that one too. Um, let's go with, I just want lots of friends, so I'm going to take the imp one. And that is it. <laughs> Swoosh. Alright. Um, and then you all can pick your, um, your aspects. I'm going to keep taking my turn, though, so we can see m as much of this game as possible. Um, so I think, so that's, uh, I regained one life, played a card... Um, I'm gonna summon some more friends. So with my new imp thing, I can summon an imp for two life instead of three once per turn. So that's just one imp. I can't do that for all the imps I summon. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. So we'll do, we'll summon two imps. Well, yeah, we'll do two. So that'll be a total of five life. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? Everyone else is doing it. So let's, let's summon a, a knight. For funsies, um, which is an extra two. Not the big gun. Hell yeah! Um, and I'm <laughs> going to move everyone up into the river. Alyssa, it's it's your choice on the aspect now. Oh. Um, and then I will move my dread knight for. Ooh, four life feels dangerous. Maybe maybe he'll hang. No, he'll go up. He can be. He'll be fine. I'm sure nobody has a card in their hand that will deal you four life. Stop that, Max. You just shush, shush, shush your face. Um, and then I'm going to draw a card. And I believe that is all I can do. Ooh, all right. Just, Interesting. Who knows? This, uh, there is only one card that is able to deal direct damage to anybody. Interesting. The most it can deal is two damage. Ah, okay. Very good to know. Very good to know. That, to do to deal two damage, you have to spend three life when you play the card. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Gamble. We love a gamble. All right. You are... Are you done? Yes, I think that's all I can do, unless I'm mistaken. I think that's everything. So, I regenerate. I get one, two, four health back. Better. Max, do you want to do me a quick favor um, and either yeah. angle your camera down a little bit because the way the oh, overlay sorry. is, it's you're kind of getting consumed by your own name tag. That's great. You can either sit up oh, more right. or angle your camera down, whichever is easier. I, I'm going to play a card from... is Grim Vision. And I will use the one life ability. Spend one life to play this card. This lets me look at another player's cards in hand and be. Oh. Um, we lost your video. Uh oh. I think we lost him all together. He's going to oh, no. choose one of the cards in my hand and make me discard him, probably. Or maybe one of Rachel's. Oh no. He has become a familiar. Um, yeah, if you if you're if you want to message him and tell him to drop out of the call and come back, um, that might help. Will do. Cool, cool. He's still in the game though, I think, which is good. Sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> thanks for sticking with us. Um, Technical difficulties are going to be a part of this weekend, um, just because we're streaming with a bunch of people from a bunch of different places um, with various Wi-Fi and internet issues. But um, yeah, thanks you know for how doing they it. say uh, if you have to ask if it's your turn, it's your turn. Yes. The uh, the tabletop simulator version of that is if you're going to disconnect, it always happens on your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. That's awful. Um, he was in the middle of his turn though, so I think we gotta we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Yep. Um, that's fine. We can pull up, um, we can actually pull up some questions to chat with Alyssa while we wait, um, for Jake to come back. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Cause we're actually, um, oh, no, he went, he went away. All right. Um, here. <laughs> Making progress. 
Um, so I, I was going to ask, uh, so, so speaking of Nick, uh, I ran into Nick at IndieCade a while ago, um, and that's where, where we first met. He does, does a lot of the really great art for your games. How did Layways form and how do you find everybody? Um, so John, Zach, and Jake, well, Zach and Jake are brothers. Um, and John has been friends with those brothers since they were in like high school or something. Gotcha. So they've known each other for a really long time. And then John kind of randomly met Nick around because Nick's from Boston. Mm -hmm. um, and Nick was, John was running some like gallery at a cafe. Um, just like hanging oh. up work at this cafe okay. and Nick wanted to hang up his work there. So that's actually how they met. And he just liked his art style and uh, asked if he would have been interested in working on this game that Zach and Jake wanted to put together. And it just kind of all fell into place like that. And then I ended up, I went to school with Nick. I went to art school with Nick and um, I don't think he has a lot of... Uh, dorky friends <laughs> so he was like i'm making a board game do you want to play test and i was like yes i do yes, thank you please. thank you very much <laughs> um and he asked me to help at pax east one year which i wanted to and eventually i had i had to put together an internship for school so uh, i just kind of stuck with them uh, and made a makeshift internship with them. And we've just been going at it like that for six years now. That's awesome. Yeah, so is that, was that first game Dragoon um, that you're talking yeah. about? Oh, yep. That's super cool. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say like all of your games, I'm assuming this is just by nature of having Nick do all the art. They all have a cohesion to them, just like visually, like you can look at a layways game and know it's a layways game just by like the aesthetic cohesion between all your games. And I just think that's, that's really, really cool. Um, yeah, that's definitely like something that we wanted to go for. We wanted people to be like, that that looks like something I already know. Like yeah. that looks like something I like I like Dragoon, so like if that's the same people, I wanna I see it on the shelf and I know what it is and I wanna try it. Yeah, I think you all have done that have done that really well. And kind of speaking of um I guess lay waste fans, um so you're the community manager, right? So from like a, a yeah. marketing perspective, how have you um, like found your fan base? How have you found your fans? How have you like, I'm always interested in how game companies engage with social media um, and just how that's kind of changed over Layways history. Um, um, our engagement on social media for the most part is just kind of been like being active in communication with your backers and what to, or yeah. with your um, customers in terms of what's going on. Out, most of our fan base, though, we particularly find through, um, we're like a big Kickstarter company. Mm -hmm. We make Kickstarters for most of our major games. We have like a large following on there, especially since Kickstarter's already got such a, a wide fan base. Right. Um, people go to Kickstarter specifically lo looking for new games. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a lot of our fan base we see at the same conventions every year. Yeah. Um, I don't think we do a lot necessarily in terms of like, gaining a larger fan base by um, expanding our social media presence as much as we do just keeping them engaged. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. Um, speaking of, of Kickstarter, because um, you guys have kickstarted all of your games, um, do you have any words of advice for someone if they're looking to kickstart their first game? Because you guys are pretty much Kickstarter professionals at this point. Um, any like words of wisdom for someone who's just starting out on Kickstarter? Yeah, um, we definitely learned that you want to be realistic with what you can bring to the table. I've seen a lot of Kickstarters fail because people are like, we want to give you this and we want to give you that yeah. and we're going to give you all these awesome things. And then like two years later, they're like, we promised that? Like, yeah. we said you, we were going to give you that? And it's just like, like you know, you want to make a game. That's your, that's your goal. You want to make a game. If you want to give them a nicer box, cool, make a stretch goal. But be realistic about like what kind of money do you need to be bringing in on the Kickstarter to make mm. to at least make ends meet and maybe make a little bit of a profit off of it. But also don't be like, I want to make ten times what I need to get this game running. Right. Yeah. Um, just realistic expectations is a big thing because we all want to dream big. But right on your first one, just keep keep your feet on the ground for a minute. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um. One of the one one of the we, questions we can, that we can interrupt our interview now because Jake's back. Jake's back. Oh, Jake's back. Hey. Okay, awesome. Wow. 
You're back. Jake's about to steal a card from my hand, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Jake. Uh, I don't even know what awesome. we were doing on your turn. Uh, he was stealing something. I was making Max get rid of a card, but I don't know how to look at his cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip him over like this, and you can use the search function and pull one out. Uh, Jake, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Oh. Oh, I can hear I can't, him. I can't. I can hear him. Oh, really? I can't He's at all. Hey! You're back. Except you're muted. No, oh, now he's, now he's muted. Try again? Hello? There we go. There we yeah. go. Huzzah. Can you, can you still not hear him? I still can't hear him. Hi, Alyssa. <laughs> Discord sometimes does Alyssa. this. Okay. Might be a quick re disconnect, reconnect for, for you, Alyssa. Just try that and see if we'll get, get him to be. Okay. Yeah, because he's audible for us just okay. fine. What are, you, what are you taking? What are you taking uh, from my wonderful curated hand? <laughs> I am tossing your consume in the trash. Ah. I was banking on that. Uh. Consume. All right. Well, you had to pay one for that, so you did. Did. All right, so now we're moving up. Into, into the, the battlefield. Dun, dun, dun. Dread Knight just hurt me. All right, I'm going to use my Aspect of the Lich ability, and I'm going to make everybody discard a card of their choice, starting to the player on my... So go ahead and if you close the search menu so I can get my cards oh, back. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, this is really expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and toss Dark Axe. That's my discard, I'll listen to you. Okay. Sorry. One second. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, computers. What do I want to get rid of? So we we all have to get rid of one. Hmm. What do I? What am I gonna want to get rid of? Probably. And are you gonna have to discard one too? It was every player starting yes. on the player on his oh, left. Wow. So. Okay, that's Damn. It's not quite as, as scary as I thought it was. Yeah, well, I think we'll discard this one when, when it comes to us. Um, all right. Should I discard one now? Go for it. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Shadow Strength. Um, is this a discard pile, Max? Yeah, that's the discard pile over there. Wonderful. Let's go. Okay. Oh. We lost Alyssa. Oh, Alyssa's yeah, back. I think he's going to come back. Hopefully, hear Jake this time. Yeah. Are you all set after that? Uh, I'm going to buy. I'm buy anything. I'm concerned about my ability to not die. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I'm interested to see this <laughs> phase when we actually start attacking each other. Uh, I'm interested to see how that plays out. All right, I end my turn. All right, so I start by regenerating one. Uh, I get four, right? One for each in these. Yep. In the river. Nice. Okay, that's a reasonable amount of health. I'm at 13 now. Then I still get a card from the river here because I don't have anything in the uh, anything in the battlefield. Right, all right, let's do... Hmm. I wonder the aspects again, no, it's much easier to do this. I'll take that feed. Okay, um, now I still can't attack people. So uh, let's just, let's start by moving my guys up. That's gonna cost me... Uh, So I'm going to use my Aspect of the Dread Knight to not have to pay a life for that, I think. Okay. Let's see. 
Discard a card, player in my life gains one. Oh, well, I like my cards. I don't like the player in my life gaining any. So, you know what? I won't even do that. I'll take my one life. Um, and then I'll move these two up. Which cost me another two. And finally... Let's see if I want to summon anything new. Uh, Dread Knights are so cheap, though. <laughs> they're so cheap, I just want to keep making them. But they're not cheap in the long run, Max. It's true, it's true. All right. I mean, you I'll do it, you go for it. You self-destruct, I don't, I mean, I kind of One, care, two, but. Three. Okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, uh, summon one imp, but that seems so little. Uh, I want to be greedy. I'm Do it. Dread Knight. All right, so you take another Dread fine. Knight and imp. All right. It's fine. What could possibly go I wrong? I should probably <laughs> have more liches than I have, but we're going to find out up. how that works soon. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, fine. You know what? I will, uh, unless you can have one life. Uh, using my aspect of the Dread Knight. Thank you. All right. And, and that's it for my turn. Okay. I do get a card at the end. Hopefully it'll be something right. that keeps me alive. That may or may not keep me alive. No comment. We will find out. Um, Alyssa, find out can you time. hear us now? Yes. I Wonderful. Think I'm up. Wait, Jake, can you say something? Damn it. I lost I'm Jake not, again. Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> I was like, I lost him oh, too. There Wait, there he is. Try again. What? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah we're all good. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> um. All right. Is it Alyssa's turn now? I'm the king yes. of the Zoom prank. <laughs> uh, gotcha. All right. Zoom prank. It's the worst. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I get one, two, three, four for the beginning of my turn, five because of my aspect, Jeez. putting me at 11. Wait, how did you, so can you explain how you gained that life? I think I'm... Yeah, so I get one at the beginning of my turn. Yeah. Three because I have uh, three in the river. Ah. And then because of my aspect, I get an additional one because I have something in the gotcha. river. Gotcha, I guess I missed the river okay. gives you life thing. Yeah, so before it wouldn't have been in play. This is the first right. round, I believe, that's actually coming into play. Gotcha. Um, it's, one, one or, it's one or fewer familiar. One or fewer. Ugh. Jake. Okay, gotta keep you in, in, in the lethal range. <laughs> I like that. Um, all right, four. That's fine. Um, skipping the attack phase because I don't have anything in my battleground. I am going to... Summon. I'm gonna summon a lich, and I'm gonna summon a dread knight. And that takes me down to what? Oh, not that one. Two, six. So that takes me down to four. All right. And I'm gonna move everything forward. Two. Okay. I am at two. All right. Yeah. Um, Oof, that's hold on one second. I want to. I'm gonna look at my cards real quick. Something. Make sure I'm not. Yep. I'm just gonna drop my card and end my turn. All right. So. Oh yeah. So quick. Got it on the first try. So do I get to pick a card since I don't have anyone? On the battlefield, is that how that works? Yes. Cool. Ooh, that's so expensive. Oh my goodness. Sure, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take Dark Axe. Um, oh, and I'd regain one life. Bloop. Um, and I'm going to play Consume, which lets me Remove a familiar of the doors from the board and give a total of four life to any player distributed as you want. So I'm going to get rid of one of these imps and give myself four life. I mean, Max, you're at you're at five. You're going to be fine. Um, so that brings me up to nine. 
Well, if you're wrong, you lose, so that's okay. It gives you one additional one because you consumed an imp. Oh, oh nice. Nice. So we're at 10. And did you get your extra three life for your uh, your familiars in I the I don't river? think I did. One, two, th three. Sense. All right. Cool. Now you've got some life. Now I've got, now I can people. do lots of more cool people. stuff. Um... Um, I don't know if um, Alyssa and Jake are reading chat, but the McGuire review is in chat and says, hello, uh, Layways, what's up? I did a video on this one. It's fantastic. Um, I love the McGuire review. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right. So I can summon a ton of crap because I got so much life. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lich or an imp at a reduced cost of two because I can. Um, and then I'm going to do a knight for, what is that? How much is it? Two? Yeah. One, two. And then we'll do we'll do one more because everyone else has them. Well, I feel like I should have liches. Should I have liches? I don't know. Sure, we'll do a lich. Why not? Um, and liches are how much? Four. Oof. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we're gonna draw a card, and I believe that is everything. Do you want to move them up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm scared, but yeah, sure. Can, can you choose to not move? Um, would there be any reason to not move them? Uh, sometimes if you don't want to move the, like, uh, if you don't want to move a Dread Knight mm -hmm. because you don't want to pass. Right. Uh, or sometimes if you want to keep familiars back in the river. Ah. Like if you don't want to move them up into the battleground, you want to keep okay. some. Okay. So you're allowed to battle. not move them? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's my, I think that's my whole turn. So we get to have, we only have about 10 more minutes left. So let's see what, I guess, the battle phase of this game looks like. I'm excited. Here we go. Okay. Uh, regenerate. I get three life back. Familiar's in the battleground, so I don't get a card here. But now I'm going to attack. All right. Now, when you're attacking, you will uh, you'll attack with one familiar at a time. Okay. Uh, each of those combats will resolve before you, you know, before you can, before you announce your next attacker. All right. Uh, each familiar can only attack one. And when you attack, uh, basically you just to say, okay, my familiar, my, my imp is going to attack. Okay. Now Max, as the defending player, will decide if and how he wants to block. Uh, and if he chooses to block with an imp, they <laughs> will each deal their combat damage to each other. Okay. And if a familiar uh, takes damage equal to or greater than their defense, they are killed. Okay. So uh, an imp is a 2-2. So an imp attacks an imp. They're both going to die. They're both dead. Gotcha. Unless somebody plays a card that uh, increases their defense. Okay. Now, each familiar can only be assigned as a blocker once. Okay. So... Once, like if you block with your with your tanky uh, dread knights, right. they can't block again. Gotcha. You can assign multiple blockers to an attacker. Okay. If it's a very magic three... in that structure. Right. Gotcha. If you, have three, uh, if you have three imps in the battleground and a dread knight is attacking you, mm -hmm. you can assign two to attack it. The dread knight is going to deal their full attack damage to each. So they mm -hmm. both. They'll presumably so that, die. That's not like magic. It's gonna the attacker deals full damage to each thing. Interesting. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to start by attacking with? So I will. Uh, I'm gonna attack with my lich. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's the special thing with the lich is I can choose who I'm attacking. Uh, and I'm going to skip Keep your familiars entirely, and attack your your health directly. Okay. Now, can I throw my lich in front of that? You can throw your lich in front of that. Exactly. Interesting. Um, let's not. I'll go ahead and take. <laughs> All right. So two da uh, two damage comes at you. I'm at three. Uh, I am going to attack with my other lich. Same. This lich I will block. So both uh, of our liches die. Correct. Except. Uh oh. To play. Oh Dark shit. Pack. Okay. The lich's defense by three. So your lich is fine and my lich dies. Damn. Oh, 
And I am not going to attack. So that's the end of combat. Okay. Cool. That's very interesting. All right. What's next? Now you guys, now you play more people, maybe. Move Imp up. I think Lion. I'm going to be a, an end my turn. All right. All right. Oh, we should have the card in the river. All right. So now we're, we're getting to the part where we're not getting new cards from the river here. Right. So I start by gaining three. One, two, three. Because I only have two guys in the river. I then uh, don't get to draw from here because I do have some people in the battleground. And then um, let's attack. I'll start by attacking Alyssa with this Dread Knight. Okay, I am going to choose to. One second. I'm going to choose to defend with my Dread Knight as well as play Dark Pact. Ooh. What is Dark Pact? So Dark Pact increases the defense of my Dread Knight uh, by three. So it now has a defense of six. So is it going to be able to defend also again? No, it can only, each thing can only It'll only be able to defend once. Okay. okay. So that does bring you down to one, right? Ooh. Uh, yes, because that costs one to play. Um, and then my Dread Knight counterattacks yeah. yours. Goodbye, mm-hmm. Dread Knight. Um, and finally, I'll attack with my imp, because why not? And I will... Sorry, I'll look at numbers again. Um, I will... Sorry, I have so many cards to oh, read. Oh, no, you're fine. And I can't remember all the buttons to actually, like, read them. Um... Alt is your I will defend with my and play Shadow Strength. Shadow Strength makes yours bigger? No. So it increases increases the attack. So uh, my imp is taken off of the board because your attack matched my defense, but my attack is now stronger than your defense, so your imp also comes off of the board. Okay. And we both gain one yeah. life. But You didn't need to... They're, they're they're already killing each other. Perfect. I, I love forgot. it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me that yeah, back. Yeah. Darn. Get out of here, Max. <laughs> should, should Don't let first. him trick you. Um, and then uh, uh, both get one. Uh, so so we're now in my main phase, and I'll start by giving this a shot. I'm gonna try to life save you for two. Ooh. Whoa. The name of the game. Deal one, what does it say? Deal one damage to any player or deal two damage to any player. I see. I paid three life, so I'm trying to deal two damage. Hopefully it's enough Damn. to kill us that we will. To me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go for well. it. Well, all right. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> um, I will play, so I go down to zero, but then I'm going to play feed and I'm going to play it on myself. So I'm oh, going to go back up to one. Okay. Thank you very much. That makes sense. Uh, see, if I were smarter, I would have not attacked oh God, him. Oh, okay. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, um, if you folks aren't don't have the, the Twitch chat open right now, we just got raided by Wormwood, um, hey, who I know folks. you all have worked with before with 125 viewers. Yay. Thank you so much. Um, woo, welcome <laughs> on in, everyone. Um, tell them what we're doing. Yeah, I'll tell them what we're doing. We're also going to have to switch um, segments in a couple seconds because um, we do have Jordan Draper and Mary waiting in the next room to do their segment. Um, but I think we're going to do a couple of like closing um, thoughts and statements here. Um, thank you so much for joining us, um, Leiways. I really appreciate it. Um, I think, am I getting feedback from myself somewhere? I hear it like very slightly. Um, but anyways, um, thank you so much for rating Wormwood. Um, really appreciate it. 
Um, Leiwes, thank you so much for joining. I hope everyone in chat got a good sense of how to play Life Siphon and what the early stages are like and also what the attacking phase at the in the like middle to end portion of the game is like. Um, I guess the couple questions that I'm going to be asking everyone this weekend is, do you have a favorite indie game that you've been playing recently that you'd like to plug and say was has been great? It could be a video game, TTRPG, board game, um, anything like that. I have not Sorry, what? had any time to play <laughs> games. I was just asking if you have a favorite indie game that you've played recently um, that you'd like to say is Oh, great. yeah. I, I unfortunately have not been playing any games recently. <laughs> That's okay. I am, <laughs> I'm in a similar boat. I've I been, get a, bad, I've been a bad tabletop person. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's totally and fine. Um, I've been playing, I've been really liking Stardew Valley. On oh, my nice. Phone. Yeah, like, there was just an update to that Valley. recently. Yeah, for sure. I feel like farming sims and like very calming anti-anxiety games are really making a comeback right now in general. I feel like everyone needs that kind of idyllic, I'm on a farm, everything's fine, um, kind of escape <laughs> from life right now. Um, and then the other thing I just want to say is, um, where can people get this game or your other games if they're interested and anything else you like would like to plug in general of yours? Um, uh, so... so so unfortunately, you can't buy the game right this second. Uh, we just finished up shipping to uh, our Kickstarter backers and finished up with fulfillment, and we're working it on getting it into distribution and retail. So hopefully by the time October rolls around, mm -hmm. it'll be available online uh, through our website and through local game stores. Awesome. Great. And you can follow them at Layways Games on all social medias, I think, for the most part. Um, yeah. yeah, thank you, um, Jake and Alyssa, so much for joining us. This was really fun. Um, thanks for powering through the tech difficulties. Um, really appreciate it. I think um, viewers still got a really good sense of what this game is like to play. Um, and hopefully are excited for it to hit shelves soonish. Um, I know I am. Yeah, for sure. Um, just real quick for the folks who are new, um, this is the um, Indie Creator Spotlight series that we're doing this weekend. Um, we're just wrapping up with Layways right now. We are going to go to a Be Right Back screen, and then we're gonna come back with Jordan Draper, um, who's gonna sit down with Mary Flanagan and Max and uh, play through his game Mirror. So hang out for like four minutes and we will be right back with Jordan Draper and Mary and Max. In for a treat, uh, Jordan is just, I love that guy. Oh my gosh, I'm so ex I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I've never gotten to meet him personally, but like, well, I've been reading up on everyone who's coming up this weekend and like, he just seems like a really interesting guy. So chat, I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's bound to be a really interesting playthrough. Um, so thank you again so much for joining us and we will be right back. All right, we'll see you soon, everyone. Bye.